of our morning conversation the something that was actually aired yesterday by pulse live kenya it was an interview they had had with kaleche mumo hey kaleche what's up big mama you good miss you i miss you bits um, i'm gonna call you a little bit later on so we can catch up my darling but it's, it's a very interesting interview because she said something that i never thought i'd ever hear and i thought this thing died a long time ago mm. she said my mother warned me against marrying men from western kenya I'm trying to wonder, do people still listen to their parents when it comes to these things? It's 2021. Yes, we love our parents so much, more than life, but there are some things you, can, you don't even pay attention to. How can that influence a decision you make in 2021? You've loved someone, you've dated, you've courted for a long time, you want to marry them, you take them home, your mother says no. Or your father says no. And then, you agree with them. Let me tell you something. Hey. Hey. Our parents see far. They are like giraffe. Can your parents tell you not to marry someone you want to marry? Forget the tribe issue. Can your parents tell you not to marry someone you've courted, you've dated, and you follow their advice? Sasa wacha ni kwambie. Kwanza your mother. For ladies, when your mother tells you wachana na Mike. Ewe, wachana huyu Tony. Mzuri lakini wachana na e. Huyu. And they've met them once. Once. Ata kabla unge. Eh, eh, huyu. Na unaitu aje kijana. Ito Tony. Mm. Na unafanya nini? Uh, computer information technology. Koso koso <laughs> so, so. 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 Karo ebuku jatuonge. Anaitu pale kitchen. Ambiwa huyo. Kwa tumereta. Eh. How? Wacha. Ambiwa wachana na yeye. Na wewe uski ufuatilie mambo ya Mike na Tony na Kevin. Kevo. Kevo. Eh? Ha. Asiyesikia la mamae. Asiyesikia la mamae. Tafunzo hapa na ulimwengu. And you need to ask them. Wale wa kusikiza. What happened? Ask them what Have happened. Have you ever taken someone home? Yes. And your mother or father instantly said no. My fathers who are wanakubali. Mothers. They have that instinct. They can tell. Can your mother tell you leave uh -huh. this person? And they met them once. And you leave them. Ata kabla uge. And you agree. Yes. Na wauliza, uliza wale awakusikiza mama yao. What happened? Because my sister is one of them. She married someone your mother didn't want her to marry. Aliambi wa wachana na uyu kijana. Aski. But that was just one. Eh, eh. Ata wengine aliwekwa ya mapana huyu huyu. Wale awakusikia. O oh, yama alienda kufanya golf practice na ye. <laughs> Kumpiga pika kabisa. Uja mekomongwa, kukomongwa. Has your mother ever told Amwachi. you something about someone eh? and you actually followed that advice and left them? So do you question your mother and ask them oh, why should I leave this person? Wachana Richard, ask you. Wachana na uyu kijana. No, when your mother tells you something like that, why don't you ask them why? They have a sixth sense. Did you want to do Fathers don't have that thing. Fathers ni wivu tu kifua. Mothers have six, they can tell you. Who you? Hapana. And they've met them once. Ata once. Ata kama ni kwa picha. They can tell. Kwa na kwa kana hiyo kitu. I want to know how correct that instinct is. You they take know. someone you have courted for years home. They know. Your mother meets them once and tells you to leave them alone. And you actually follow their yes. advice. Yes. Without questioning that opinion. Na unalete mwingine ya meparara ana chuchota na kwambia huyo. Huyo. Ebu, give me a call. If you've got an experience, I want to hear from you. 0711. I've never known you ni nini wanakuwaga na ayo. 046105. Fathers don't have that thing. Mothers have. Haki kuwabia achana na mutu wacha. But they've met them once. Eh, 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 wacha. They know. They know. Uliza wala wakusikia mama yao. What happened? Let's hook up on Facebook, on Twitter. At It's Mine Ekageni Wa Classic 105 Kenya. Hashtag is Mine Enkengangi. 
Yeah. What is your experience? Never, never argue with your mother when it comes to that. They know. You can't just say they know without asking uh, them uh, why. Wanajuaga, I don't know how, but they know. Okay, do you question yes. your mother? Uh, uh, how now? You see, you don't do that. How do you question your mother? You're mad. The instinct. You know what? <laughs> when it comes to a spouse, really? Yes. 0711-046105 is my number. Let's talk. Yes, JLM. Yes, you'd like your mother to agree with the person you want to marry, but do you give them control on a decision like that? As you skia. Hufunzo na ulimwengu. Yes. 0711-046105 is my number. Let's talk. Huh? So we talked about this story by Kaleche. Kaleche was advised by her mom not to marry women from Western Kenya. I'm trying to wonder. This is 2021. Yes, you listen to your parents. Yes, 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 and all that, that, that. But when it comes to choosing a spouse, do they still have a say in your life? Maurice Mwenda, good morning. Tell me on Twitter, young men, Skizeni Wazazi, it'll save you stress in future. Today I'm separated and I lost everything to a woman last weekend. Jia kutoskia wazazi. Aki ningeskiza. Free advice to young people out there. Listen to your parents. They only correct you out of love. Yeah. Martin Garubi, good morning. You're saying, Maina, a parent is always right. Sometimes you're blinded by love, but a parent will always see your partner's true colors in first sight. Yeah. Molimu Kimiti, I'm trying to wonder, are these people who are living in 2021? Molimu Kimiti Moreo, good morning, saying, I think it's important to heed your father's plea because he himself knows where he passed through and planted Mbegu. Otherwise, you may end up marrying your sister from a different mother. Aya. Kanga Justin Kanga, good morning. You're saying in high school, my mother almost killed me when she heard I was dating our area chief's daughter. And I lost her just like that. I came to understand it was just an inferiority complex. Follow your heart, not your parents. Hey, <laughs> put it together. My grandmother warned us the whole clan from getting married to Kizibed. <laughs> Guy, did he? <laughs> Bob, I can't <laughs> Watu wa keroga nyama wa muko wapi? <laughs> you are under attack. Bend this way. Uh, bend this way. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We're beauty together. Yeah. Auntie, you end up marrying him, Bara Bamba. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. I cannot believe what I'm reading here. Now attack you on Turi. Lucy Paul, you're saying those who don't listen come back crying. Wait. Mumenda Shule, you've graduated, and you're, you're, sti you're still under that spell, if I may call it that. Kevin Bosque said your mother's advice acts as bleeding, and she knows why. She's telling you no. Aya. I cannot believe so many people still blindly follow their parents' advice. What is your story? Hello? Good morning, Maina. Good morning. Hey, Sasa. Mm. This topic I've heard you're talking about. Mzazi kukwambiu si oe umstana. Hey. Yeah, I've heard that two times, eh? With your mother? Yes, with my mother. My name is John, eh? Uh-huh. Now, there is this lady who I had met uh, back, like, uh, in 2017. Yeah. So, uh, we had dated for, like, uh, three years, eh? Yeah. But now the problem was, eh? Eh. Uh. Kamba. Uh. We were very good. Actually, even when she came for, for a sleepover at my place, uh. she spent with my sister's room. Eh? Uh. But now when I told my mother I want to marry her, mm. my friend, aliniambe hapa uwezi yo mkamba. Yo guka said no mkamba hapa. Na uh, yeah. And now, uh. I thought it was just a joke. Eh? Uh. Kaskiza mzazi, kwa sifa kwa kama hivu kingangi anasema usie skiza mamake. Eh. Uh. I got another girl. Eh. Uh. So dated hold on, so so hold on. The first one, ukawacha, you listened to how ukawacha na nae. Yes, we had dated since 20, 2013, now to 2017. Eh? And and your mother then, said, stuck in who my you? my mom said, eh? Eh. she used to come, she used to come like uh, once a month and I spend for, for the three years. Eh? <laughs> now, 
after now getting another one eh? Eh. my mother asked you know you mama wa hapo karibu no oh, hold on hold on hold on before we go to the next one mm. uh -huh. so you had dated this woman for four years yes your mother told you stucky woe who you when i said i want to marry her eh. that's when alisema eh hapa ukako alisema kwezi oleka mkamba kwezi uh, ya makikuyu eh ok then uh -huh. ukawachana na uyo msichana so it was tough cause uh, then i was working in eldoret so alikuwa na roji so it was easy to maneuver her and uh, nikapotea nisikiza ya mzazi sindio so you actually listened to your mother yes uh -huh. then you got another one uh -huh. Uh -huh. got another one who was not far from home sasa mkikuyu sasa uh -huh. we dated for like uh, almost a year and a half eh uh -huh nikakuja mama mwingine hapo karibu na kwao akaanza kuleta hiyo kasheshe ya kwao oh once she came for a sleep over i had my mom knocking on the door kasema huyu msichana simtaki hapa haya hapa and it was stuck us in the in the home cuz uh, ma mama alipiga hiyo mlango akasema i stop hapa hadi atoke haya so i now she pia sasa asinona hiyo humiliation eh yeah. that happens when she's pregnant imagine So what did you do? So she was heavy na mie hako ameniambia, sinaona. So tukaachana na yeye kwa sasa the humiliation she facing at home iko iko zaidi ya venye unaweza taka, si kweli? Eh. So mimi nikaachana na yeye. Hey. After she went After she went akapata mtoto. Nikamwambia mam, na yule msichana alipata mtoto wangu. Akaniambia mtoto hizi kwa ni wako. Huyo msichana huko ana nilimfukuza mimi. Huyo msichana alikuwa anakuja kukutega hapa tu. Yeah. Oh, I think I think now uh, even we should not be blaming some women who are out there with kids because eh? uh, it's not their will or, or our wish as the fathers of those kids. So hold on, so let me ask now, you. So you uh, actually listened to your mother at, so do you have a girlfriend now? Me me sahi niko na msichana nilio eh. Eh. Actually it's the stress of my life eh. Eh. Kwa sababu ni wale uwezi muambia unaona hii unaona hii hii wimbo ya meja wacha sisiki i think meja alisikia hiyo hiyo story yangu na wewe una wewe huoni kama mama yako ndio amefanya ukue hivi no i think i think what's happening is eh my eh yeah. see that that kamba lady eh yeah. we had grown so close to with each other that i think i've never found the love that she used to handle me with you know na And uh, after sahi huyu mwenye nimeoa na nipea stress my mom is like hey, heri ungewa yule msichana tu. Nasema la Okay. Thank yeah. you very much for your story. Now listen to that. What is that? His mother has ruined his life. That is a fact. Do you still listen to some particular forms of advice from your mother? Hebu tuonge about Kaleche Mumo. By the way, good morning to you Kuiko Inange and I hope you're well today. Rubia Jeff, good morning. Rastafari, habari asubuhi. Keep Kerry Mike, a very very good morning to you as well. Shiko Mwangi, hello love. How are you? So Kaleche's mom advised her not to even think of marrying a man from Western Kenya. It's an story that's on the Pulse Live Kenya. It was an astounding interview. I could not believe my eyes as I read that story in 2021 I couldn't believe it I'm trying to wonder what is it that will make you listen to advice without even questioning it that's my question Purity good morning you see parents see far normalize listening to them when they warn you about certain things or people I always see a kisi and run for my dear life <laughs> What is it? Clinton Danny, good morning. What is it that you're told? Akina Albert aja kwambia ta waliambiwa watu avoid kikui women. Albert Kigada. Wacha hata yeye. Watu kwanza wakapete. Ah, dumia sia bete. Eh, ana kanyamu. What is this? Clinton Tony said marriage like everything else in life requires advice since it's a personal thing. Yeah, but then I'm trying to wonder 
is it that you cannot see it yourself why is it that people still listen to their mothers blindly Mama came up, good morning, and said, 21 years ago, my mom practically told me to leave my house and move back home. She said, having a kid didn't mean I get married early. Niliskiza, so here I'm a single mom and life has been tough. Mom, we've had our fair shares of squabbles and I regret following her advice. Unamali nilienda kaulezo immediately. Name Bilondo. What is name Bilondo? Bilondo ni mukimutu kiuzi. Chawoko Lakeside. Name Bilondo. Kaunga kikama, ayye. Athman Meli, good morning is saying our mothers and grandmothers are like the deep state. Your grandmother can tell you her days are over in this world. Bring the girl I approve. You know, I find this very astounding because I do not see how it's got a place in today's society. Do you believe in curses? Lana. I think it's it's psychological. The same way you don't believe witchcraft. Even that is psychological. So so. What is it? Quickly moving forward. Explain this to me, Tafadali. I'm listening. Good morning. Good morning. Happy Friday, happy weekend. Uh, welcome to the weekend. Oh yeah, why? I'm telling you, Mambo VP. Who oh, Asana? Niambie. Sasa. Eh. Mine never met her. Sorry? She just, my mother never met her. Eh, uh, your wife? Yes. Eh. Uh. She just refused her through phone. On phone, man. <laughs> hold on. Hold on. Stop, 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 stop. Yo, yo. <laughs> Your mother talked to her on the phone. They never met. Eh. They only talked once. On the phone. Yes. Na mama yako wakakata. Haka niambia Kevin ni uya apana. Taki. Haya. Ya. Alafu. Siku sikia mimi ni kaendelea. But within a period of uh, two years. Eh. Whatever she said came to pass. And she talked to her once on the phone. Yes. Na akakuambia nini mbaya? Anamkataa kwa nini? Anianza tunasikia roho yango. Sijui roho yao wali kuna nini. <laughs> <laughs> Ati nasikia sijui roho yangu. Roho yangu haimtaki tu. No no uh, ukamuigno. Yes. Ukaendelea you go, went ahead and married her. Yes. And then within a year boom. Happened. Things started being uh, bad and we had to separate. Haya. Yes, yeah, so currently, eh. uh, the woman I'll take to her, if she refuses again, I won't go ahead. So have you taken to her? Have you taken another no. another woman to her? No, no, bad. I will not see my ears. That's and little maspeta. Where's the pesca to his easy? So if you take another woman to her, yes. and she says no, utawachana na eh hapo hapo. Exactly. Aya. Yes. Hey. Aya. <laughs> it's not bad. It's Al not bad. Allah. 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 Uti kote kucheza mbayu wayu wana. Mbayu wayu, I'm going to play that for you. I promise ah, you. Ah, that song. Ah, uti kote kucheza iyo. Aya, sawa. Happy weekend. Happy weekend. Allah. Hello. Maina. Good morning. <laughs> You see, it is very important to listen to our parents. Eh. I'll tell you a story. My cousin yeah. was told not to marry a Muranga girl. Yeah. She went ahead and yeah. married. Yes. By the mother, the mother Kasema, eh. Mkipata mtoto, na eh. muschana. Eh. Don't name the kid after me, Hi. my father. Hiya. That, that is a curse. Yeah, that is like we don't want any you, you to continue our generation with this woman. Yes. So this brother of mine went ahead and did it. Yeah. Watoto wali waliza watoto. Eh. Unaza wanaenda. Unaza wanaenda. What do you mean unaza wanaenda? Wanakufa? Yes. 
היה. עלה או רגדה? Now, I am married myself. Yeah. We have not, have not come across this uh, person by, directly. Yeah. But another, uh, where I am married, the in-laws. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, in one month. Male, two boys. In one month. Okay. Yes, it is okay to listen. But at a point, you need to engage your free will. You need to go by what is right to you what you, what is the consciousness that yeah yes okay thank cool. you very much yeah these traditions are very tough yeah that's the same way our ancestors will say that uh, don't marry from this plan don't marry from easy water skiza kuna maneno okay and apparently our school tradition people think it's not complex i'm perplexed very complex by the way okay it has very it has very 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 big issues huko ndani pale wamesema usiende mauga tugazi kwa kama huu tugazi ko and these are we are people who studied and we can reason and everything but i don't know how we just become totally blind with some things it's incredible Jeres nyakako yesen kwanza akisi mari ngakikuyu problem Felix Golo Monsieur President good morning say mana mine at home no one cares the kind of person you marry as long as you're not a bachelor for long their duty is to bless the union na story kuisha kama bibi yako ni stress utapambana mwewe mwenyewe I cannot believe what I've had this morning can you believe it Hey. Kevin Bosco saying it's all about the best our mothers want to see in us they feel the frustrations you'll go through if you marry ladies from certain families or tribes way we in 2021 Javi good morning I said my mother warned me but I ignored her I got married to this guy for 11 years I got two kids I went through hell for those 11 years we eventually separated my mother reminded me why I should have listened to her I regret today not having listened to her. What do you mean? Hello. Maina. Good morning. Good morning. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. Now you think these things are a joke? Eh. These things happen. What do you mean they happen? Happen where and how? <laughs> Uh now in the family uh, our family now uh, there was that spoken word by my grandfather yeah so he had said you're not supposed to get married or to marry someone from uh from those western western that tribes uh -huh. so i have a cousin who went ahead and uh, got married to aluya yeah do you know she now is an akani kama amekuwazimu why and uh, the first born boy eh. definitely was named uh, from the other from the other side because uh, it's a lady who got married to a lawyer man eh. the boy is warm to the potea he's into drugs he's into, he's into bang all sorts of bad things eh. so never joke never joke with a spoken word and whatever your parents or your elders tell you Eh, uh, going try to eat one day one time it akuja kuku hate and it will hate you when you can't you can't just run away from it. Now when you say that don't you are you listening to yourself don't you feel that you sound ridiculous even saying that? That's happening. I'm giving you a real life scenario. It's happening. <laughs> It's happening. <laughs> that happened to my own family. It's happening mine. <laughs> oh my god. 
<laughs> it's happening. Did you go to university? It's not, it's not, it's not far away like uh, the stories you hear on radio, maybe the movies you watch. I'm telling you of a real life scenario. Okay. And if, if I tell you more, utashanga, mwata tu ninyamazia hapo. Aya. Hapo weekend, my name. Isn't that madness of the highest order? I mean, really? Really? Ebu have the final word. Oh. What a morning it has been. Yani, I've, today I've learned. Let me just, uh, you know, they say, a day gone without learning something is a day wasted. <laughs> Kelvin Otoko is saying today, I'm going to sit this one out. Aki, me, I can't believe my ears. It's, it's simply crazy. Felix Agolo is saying, have you noticed it's only mothers who are trying to meddle in their children's affairs? I've not heard of fathers complaining. So why is it? Have the final word. Hello, Maina. Hello, good morning. Good morning, JT. How are you? I'm fine. I'm also very fine. Uh -huh. Now, listening to your parents is very, very important. Yeah. But apparently, the mothers of nowadays are too materialistic that they don't want, they, they don't look after the welfare of their children, you see? Yeah. It becomes a problem listening to them. Like, uh, a place I used to live in Mombasa, mm. I would see mothers selling their own women or their own children to very old men because of money. Yeah. So it becomes so sad and so confusing. Yeah. And then one, you wonder whether to listen to your parent or not, but as, as for me, I would follow my own instincts. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I would for not agree to listen to your parents because you know your parents will not live with you forever. That's true. They won't live with you're you forever. Just, yeah, you're just there for a little while. When, when you, live, you reach 18 or 24, you leave them. True. And they have their own life. So your own partner is your own problem. Your own partner so, is your own problem. I like that. Yes, yes. I would not agree to anybody listening to their parent because apparently even the man he or she chooses for you will not uh, will not live with her. That's true. You will live with the person. Yes. Yeah, I mean, have a good day. You have a great weekend. Asanda Sana for calling me and have a nice one, huh? And you will tell me a kamogidi bwana kukaribisha weekend. Aya, sawa, sawa. Thank you, Aina. Have a good day. Bye-bye. Your spouse is your problem. Your spouse, I'll say that again, is your problem and yours alone. Aki, the things I've heard today. Ow.